Attention, if you or a loved one has not completed your riot shield camos before the season one reloaded update, you might be entitled to go f yourself. Now you might be asking, Joe, what does all this mean? Well, the riot shield has been nerfed like bad. So I saw a few tweets and I saw some people talking about it on the subreddit and I had to go see for myself if this is real. So if you go up here to the six little squares in game and you go on the patch notes, you can see everything in the update here. You can see over here, it's talking about the Warzone Cup, the double XP weekend, how they've added shipment. There's now the new raids. There's Warzone Cup limited time mode. Added some quality of life changes with the XP tokens and all that. But if you get down to the weapon balance area and you scroll past all the guns here and you get down to the melee weapons, you see there's a big area here for the riot shield. Let me go ahead and read these through. And for the first thing here for the riot shield, we see it has reduced movement speed. This is what everyone's been asking for. We've seen so many people run overkill with a riot shield on their back and how that's just completely plagued every single lobby in this game. And this might be to counter that. But then you go down to the very next thing you see reduced melee damage to three hit kill yeah you read that right so that means instead of hitting somebody twice to take them out you now have to hit them an additional time now to be fair i'm pretty sure that the speed in which the riot shield melees has been increased by like a third of a second i don't know how significant that is uh, i tried hopping in game with it it didn't seem like too noticeable but it makes getting camos for it significantly harder so now instead of swinging your riot shield four times within like was it 10 seconds maybe even less than that for a double kill you have to swing it six times in core to be able to get those camos knocked out i know what you're thinking why don't you just hop into tier one all you gotta do is hit somebody once well with this new update it's now a two hit kill in tier one now it says shield movement animation improvement i, I can't really notice any difference in it we'll we're gonna hop in game in a second here and i'll show you all the changes uh but this one uh, is basically irrelevant maybe it's something huge you know shout out to the animators the animations of this game look great but i could not notice it and another thing one thing that purse feels like a personal attack on me is longer switch time pulling out throwing knife when the riot shield is equipped. So you guys know me. I love throwing the throwing knife more than the average player mainly. I use the throwing knife quite a lot. I don't use the riot shield quite a lot. If I were to use the riot shield in like a knife, because I like using melee weapons sometimes when I'm bored, and I wanted to use the throwing knife with it, it is so much slower to throw. It is ridiculous. So that's how they massacred the riot shield. They also added a new weapon in today, the Chimara AR, which is pretty good. I put up a video on that today earlier. Go ahead and check that out for me getting that gold. I'm gonna go ahead, hop into the private match and show you guys what's really different about the riot shield and the throwing knife with it. All right, so here we are on holiday shipment. If you guys wanna play this or see it early, you can go ahead and hop in a private game. The map is there as an option to play. And it looks pretty cool too, but the point of this is to show you the movement differences and the speed on the throwing knife. So I went ahead and I put together a few classes here. We got the Chimara or the Chimera here just in a class on its own with the throwing knife. I went ahead and I changed the perks here so none of it is influencing my run speed or my ability to throw the throwing knife like double time and strong arm. And I will make sure that I'm doing that for all the rest of these classes too. <laughs> okay, I think it's all set. There's no fast hands in here, no nothing. I'm, there's no, no, there's no trickery over here. But I'm gonna go through, record some footage of me running down this way and throwing the throwing knife with each class and I'm gonna show you the differences. So looking at these, it's pretty apparent that your movement speed is significantly nerfed while using the riot shield specifically in your hands when i went back and i looked at the footage of me running with the chimera out with my non-overkill class and the chimera with my overkill class the right shield on the back i didn't really see too much of a difference in the movement speed there so the whole thing that everybody wanted nerfed with the movement speed of people turtle shelling around seems like there's little to no difference in that. So the only people affected here are the people actually using the riot shield, either trying to get camos with it or just using it for fun. The people that have it on their back turtling around, no difference for them. This update has changed nothing for them. And if we look at the throwing knives here, you can see it is very, very slow throwing the throwing knife with the riot shield equipped, which is really a shame. You don't have a whole lot of ranged options that can reliably kill and that you can pick up with a riot shield. I think it was a bad idea to nerf the throwing knife and the throwing knife is a big part of why I really like melee weapons, so this is a huge disappointment to me. All right, we're here on a game of shipment. I'm gonna try to show off just how bad the melee is for this now. Now I just gotta try to get close to somebody. Here we go. That guy was already weak. That's not an actual one-shot kill. That's not gonna work like that. But you can still get stuck by drill charges, thermites, semtexes. There's all kinds of counters for the riot shield, but not a whole lot of ways to use it. As you saw right there, that was a three-shot kill with the riot shield which is ridiculous any normal weapon let me show you really quick i'll switch to my chimera class but any normal weapon is literally a two-shot melee so if actual melee weapon in this game that you need to use to get camos for said melee weapon takes more hits than a normal gun if i can get close enough to somebody i'm going to show you so i go up to this guy and i oh so let me change my lethal 
from the throwing knife to a Molotov. I forgot that the throwing knife is an insta-kill. But if I go up to this guy and I hit him once and twice, he's dead. So the riot shield officially takes more melee hits than literally any weapon in this game, which is absolutely absurd. And on top of that, reactionary throwing knives are a thing of the past. Look, I see this guy right here. That would have killed them with any other class. So that potential life-saving throwing knife, you don't get the, the option for that anymore. Instead, you just have to pray that somebody's low health. So I'm sure that you could probably still get some camos done here on shipment, considering how chaotic it is and you could hardly go two steps without getting shot. You're gonna get lucky and find some people that are already damaged. But if you end up getting like a nice flank and you're behind a lot of people, you're gonna end up getting spotted, drill charged, thermited, semtex way faster, and you're gonna get those kills way slower than you normally would. And with that reduced movement speed while having the riot shield equipped, not only can you not lay down to dodge those prox mines, that was already a thing, you can't do that. But if you were to chase after somebody, they are gonna outrun you. They're gonna outrun you by a lot. And this doesn't really have too much of a lunge, so good luck catching up to anybody just taken off from you. Now, I personally have never understood the riot shield hate of somebody just using the riot shield, just trying to get kills with the riot shield. I understand people that hate people turtling with it, but the absolute nerfs in just how they've massacred this weapon is absurd. There's already so many counters to it and they made it way worse. The next thing they can do if they want to just, you know, put it into the ground is make it like Vanguard's riot shield where your head's sticking out of the top and it doesn't fully reach the bottom. I just think it completely ruins the experience of using a melee weapon and makes grabbing the camos for it way worse. That right there, that throwing knife I just hit, probably wouldn't have hit that with the, with the faster throwing knife speed. That one was like a complete accident. But now let's back out of this and I'm gonna hop in tier one and show you just how awful it is in there now. Okay, I've managed to get into a game here of tier one and I'm gonna show you why this is bullshit. One, two takes two hits to kill somebody here now for me personally when i got my riot shield platinum i went into tier one to do my double kill challenge now it takes the same amount of time to get this done as it would have in core two days ago like this is ridiculous there's no reason for a melee weapon in tier one tier one the mode basically bastardized hardcore where damn near everything it kills in one hit where a melee weapon takes multiple this is like the most unnecessary nerf i've ever seen in my life and that throwing knife is ridiculously slow. That guy would be dead. I, I was very inaccurate there, but still. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about. I just want to bring to your attention, if you haven't seen already, just how drastically nerfed the riot shield got. And I wanted to wish those of you that still need to get those camos good luck because you're going to need it. But I will be trying out that new raid as well as that Rocket League mode once that gets fixed. So be on the lookout for those. Also, go ahead and check out my Gold Chimera video, but I'm going to go ahead and head out. Uh, appreciate all your support. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.